Bonjour. Bonsoir. C'est plein de clés une autre fois. Et it's time for intro. We are really, really live. We're really, really live. The phone number is there. 415-861-6648. Please, please call me up because that's my favorite thing to do when we do these live shows. You can see it right there. 861-6648-415. Right now I'm going to play our intro for Momo. It's kind of planically coming around the bend. Yes. And our topic for today is uh, justice for you. Justice for you and for you and for you. Justice for you and me and you and us and them and whoever. What is justice anyways? Yeah. So, uh, you know, Planically has been a live show coming to you from San Francisco, California for about 10, 11 years. Yeah. And it is, you can see some of the old shows on Planetly SF on YouTube and on um, my YouTube channel, which is called just simply Jennifer Glee. And um, you may, if you are just tuning into Planet Glee, say to yourself, does this have anything to do with that show that that was on, like, when was it on? Like, five, uh, no, I'm five foot eight, no. <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, 2008, 2009, uh, called Glee. Well, Planet Glee preceded the Hollywood show Glee, and um, the story behind Planet Glee is really quick. Um, I, I was going to do the show, and I wasn't sure what kind of name to have, so I just said, oh, okay, let's do Jennifer. It's easy. Everybody can remember it. But what about the last name? Um, um, um. Oh, yeah, I had... Um, I've always been, I've been vegan for a really super long time, probably 15 years or more, and I had this chiclet gum, chicle, from uh, the Amazon rainforest called Glee Gum, and I said, oh, what about just Jennifer Glee, let's just do it, Glee Gum, yeah, I like Glee Gum, so yeah, so that's where um, Jennifer Glee came from. Um, and it really, ha the show has nothing at all to do with whatever they put forth in that show Glee from Hollywood. Um, I think, wasn't it about cheerleaders? I don't know. Oh no, I never watched it. 
But uh, anyway, I just want you to know that if you're just tuning into Planet Glee for the first time, that it is a concept and it is a metaphor for a planet that is synonymous with Earth but is in energy a combination of Saturn and Venus conjunct. Saturn and Venus together, Saturn responsibility, Venus love, not love just between two people or animals or this and that, but also uh, love for humanity, which I think Venus in conjunction with Jupiter achieves as well. So, yeah, so planetically, you know, it is, it is about the stars, about the planets too. But uh, what I'd like to start out today with is, um, since uh, we are live, I don't know who watches um, cable channel 76 on a Wednesday at 5 p.m., but if that's you, call me up because actually I think the board is working over here. It's really working. Um, if you call up, it'll ring, it'll ring, and then I'll just go ding, and then you'll be on. And you can talk to me about anything. Just call me up. Call me up. That's my favorite thing to do on Planet Glee. Now, normally I have guests, but i um, been very busy the past, since I did the show with ICB. Um, super busy working my, uh, my part-time job that pays me about this much money. Yes, I am a, a low-paid uh, wage worker. So that's you too. We have something in common. Yeah, I am working for $17 an hour. Uh-huh. So I understand what it's like to work for money that does not pay your rent. Anyway, also, uh, what are, you know, call me up, call me up, call me up. Okay, so actually yesterday I worked another job that pays less than 16 or 17 dollars an hour it pays less than 10 dollars an hour and it is called working as a poll worker for the elections yes indeed i did that yesterday we had a uh an election here in san francisco uh regarding how oh, our creepy mayor and, um, you know, uh, a, an attempt to recall him and put somebody else in there who probably knows nothing about government, but who knows. Uh, anyway, I was working the poll yesterday. You know, we have to be there at 6 a.m. So I was really tripping. I was like, oh, am I going to be able to make it there at 6 a.m.? I won't be able to wake up. Ah. Uh, but somehow I was able to wake up where there's a will, there's a way. And, and then I get there and it's in this place. Uh, it was a very humbling experience, to be honest with you. Um, it was in this place where they are uh, in the bottom of a church where they, um, they make food for people and they also distribute free food for people. They also had... Um, some bedrooms in there uh, that were very humble um, I guess I don't know for people who may be unhoused I'm not really sure how they work it but to be honest with you it was very crowded in there <laughs> and uh, there was no light because I was about 20 feet from the windows and there were all these bunk beds that in the middle and um, so yeah, I was checking in people and trying to see what their names were, trying to figure out what I was doing. It was bizarre. It was very bizarre. And um, I've done it before. That's the thing. I've uh, worked these polls before in different neighborhoods. And to be honest with you, you know, San Francisco is one of those places where certain neighborhoods are better funded than other neighborhoods. And the polls are nicer in other neighborhoods and I'm not going to discuss which ones they are but um, or which one I was working in just, just don't want to get there go there right now but um, 
it is a neighborhood where um, this is a little bit relevant. Oh, wait. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, guess what? You know, in our neighborhood last week, and this is very sad, um, it happened in the morning. This is what all I've heard is, and that it was a knifing in, in my neighborhood which is close to Golden Gate Park and um, yeah uh, uh, a gentleman was killed and um, murdered and um, so yeah uh, now I don't think that um, this kind of thing really solves anything I think it's it's uh, it was put out by Stop Crime Action um, you know, I mean, I think murders are extremely, extremely serious. Uh, the burglaries and things like that, of course, they're serious. I know a friend who has like a very humble pizzeria out there by City College, and you know, she was getting her door bashed in all the time uh, during COVID. And um, so, I don't know, I'm going on and on. Call me up. But I just wanted to say one more thing about the polls yesterday. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah. Working for so many hours for so little money. It's really volunteer. And that's why Jennifer has, I think, <laughs> that was all coming from me. You call me up, we could discuss it. Uh, I, I think that I have the right to say I know about justice for you because I volunteered for the local government for the uh, California government and the elections and I saw what I had to go through and the conditions I was working in and um, I, you know I don't know if I <laughs> um, yeah it was not particularly safe but anyway, um, what else do I have to talk about? Yes, I have a lot, but I, I would really prefer that someone call me up. You can crank call me too if you want. I don't mind. Um, but uh, let's see what we got going over here, Jennifer. I was going to do my, um, my SoundCloud, and then I was like, hmm, I'll just do, I'm going to, I have like nine more minutes, so... I'm going to do one song for my SoundCloud. And, uh, okay, let's do this one. Oops, what happened? Oopsie, is it showing? No. Put it up, Jennifer. That's my SoundCloud. Charlotte and the Wild Joaquin.
SoundCloud, Charlotte and Noel Joaquin, and at the bottom it says Charlotte and Noel, without the Joaquin, but that's okay. I think I'm going to change my SoundCloud anyway, probably to Jennifer Glee. You know what? Um, let's go back to it for a second. Um, my um, One of my songs is not on here. I didn't talk it, take it off. I think it got, somebody took it off. It's called uh, Je ne suis pas Sange. And which means I'm not a monkey. And um, yeah, um, I don't know what happened to that one. I just noticed it. And so um, I really need to work on my SoundCloud here. Oh no, there it is. How did I didn't see it earlier? Okay, here we go. Let's do one more. Okay, let's do one more. I'm, you know, no one's calling up. We got four minutes. We're live. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay, we're live. And, uh, you know, I'm just random today, but I did talk about a few things justice for you. And justice for you is here in Je suis pas sage because it's a song against war. That's what it is. And it's against war, and it's against the flagrant, um, uh, moneyed class being in our faces all the time. It's against that as well. Let's see. I want to skip ahead. Here we go. Thank you. 